Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. And today in this tutorial, we are going to take a look at the UDIMs in Maya and how we can create separate UV sets for a particular model and then export all those UDIMs in Substance Painter to Texture. So I have this gallows model here and it has uh, some assets like these legs and this platform and this pole here. So if I want to create uh, separate UV sets for all these parts, I'll have to go to my UV editor and this model is already unwrapped so what I'm going to do is just select my model and go to shell mode select all my shells and then go to layout first I'm going to reset everything and then I'm going to come in my layout setting and let's increase the texture size for this let's take 2k and uh, right now all our UVs are stacked in this one by one grid but I want to use all these grids for my UV texture sets let's count how many parts do we have in our model so we have these legs this platform and these supports and this pole so we have four sets of UVs what I'm going to do is increase the value of this tiles u and v so let's take two here and two here and apply it's going to spread all my uvs in these four grids so u is our horizontal and v is vertical so we have two one by one grid in the vertical and two in the horizontal so instead of using just one UV grid and stack all our UVs in just one UV set, we are going to use multiple layout of our UVs. So it helps when you're using Photoshop or any kind of other hand painting software for your texturing. So you can add more details to your texture if you're using any hand painting software like Photoshop. Select our model and we are going to export this in Substance Painter. So I'm going to select this and uh, And let's go to file and export selection. And export. Let's open the Substance Painter and create a new document. Increase the size of your document and import our OBJ file. So if you're using UDIMS, then you might want to check this use UV tile workflow. It's going to enable the UDIMS in Substance Painter and give you access to individual UV texture set. So just hit OK. And we have our model here. So if you go to texture set list, you can see all those four UV sets in your list here. So you can select and uh, just enable this 3d 2d view and it's going to show you which UV tile it is so this is 1001 so it should be this and uh, this is 1002 and 11 and 12 are going to be these two up here so you can see all your UVs here and now you can texture and add as much detail as you want without compromising your workflow. So that's it for today and I hope you liked this tutorial and if you did then drop like on this video and subscribe to the channel. I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.